<laughs> All right, kindergarten puppies, let's go inside. Why do you find that? Oh, do you find out? It's a platypus. It's a platypus. It's a duck. But it has a bill that looks like a duck. It has feet with like webs in it so it can swim really easy. I know. Yeah. So then the tail. The tail looks like a beaver's tail. But where do platypus live? And that's Australia. Yeah, Australia. And look up there and trace around the platypus. What, what kind of lines are you tracing? Are they straight? Curvy. Yeah, there's curvy, there's some bumpy. Ooh, how about patterns? Didn't we see something with patterns the other day? You're gonna get a template and you need to trace it and then give it to someone at your table when you are done. Yeah, you can pick any color, any pattern, but you need to have a line for the bill and a nose and an eye. Gonna do a zigzag, couple zigzags to make a pattern. What other kind of lines can I make? I just did zigzag. Curvy. Yeah, it kind of looks like a zigzag, but zigzag sharper and straight lines, right? What if I do some circles? Like a broken line. Nice job, Sadri. Yeah, it's like very curvy, but they come to a point. See that? Versus the wavy line. Well, we're gonna paint it later, but you might want to add some texture. All right, so I'm gonna leave this here for an example. And, okay, trace it, hold it down. We'll go around. Nice tracing. Scribe tu nombre? All right. So for kindergarten, we like to build our skills and be able to use the materials in a way that they feel comfortable later when they get a little older and how to do their, their own thing. I also try to encourage them to be creative um, and come up with their own thing. But at such a little, you know, when they're so young, they really like to do it how the teacher's doing it. So at first, like kindergarten, they'll we'll pretty much copy whatever I do. And we've been building skills pretty much all grade levels of like, I'll draw something and then they draw it and then they can add more to it or they can just do whatever I do, but. Look it. So every grade level, we build more skills with um, fine motor control, um, from drawing, painting, holding the materials, treating the materials nicely, um, building up skills of like, how do you use the paint on the paper? Um, so right now they just can pretty much do anything. Um, and then like first grade and second grade, they start learning how to control the brush marking and make mark making better. Um, like using wet on wet techniques when you're doing watercolor or dry brushing and so then when they're in fifth grade, they feel really comfortable with the materials and they can go on to middle school and just slide right in.